to make his way to the ring, Kip James. Well, I certainly sense some differences between this man, Kip James, and the alpha male, Monty Brown. You know, I thought that Monty may have deferred to his more experienced tag team partner last month in sacrifice. He bought into BG James as the special referee, but when that didn't work out, Monty says, we're going to do things. about getting a shot at the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. And we also saw how physical he can get recently on Impact when he and Kip James, they were responsible for injuring Sonny Siaki. Oh, and it was a brutal neck injury that we saw. Siaki, though, is here. He will be here today, but he won't be able to go because, well, it was just brutal what they did next year. Sonny Siaki suffering that very serious neck injury. Going to be sidelined for a little while, but he's here today to support the team that will oppose the Alpha Male and Kip James. He's here to support Apollo and Lance Hoyt. Let's hear the official intro from JB. And their opponents being put into the ring by Sonny Siaki from Puerto Rico. This is a being dropped on his throat, dropped right against a steel chair. He sidelined Alpha Male and Kip James don't seem too concerned, do they? His tag team partner from the Lone Star State, he is Lance Hoyt. You gotta love the way that Big Lance from Big D from Dallas, Texas, picked up the battle for Apollo after his partner Sonny I'll tell you something, I'm proud of Lance Hoyt by coming in here to stand in for Sonny Siaki. This is going to be brute strength against brute strength tonight. Siaki wants to accompany Apollo and Lance Hoyt to the ring for this match. He's not been medically cleared. As a result, they have told Sonny Siaki to head back to the locker room. I'm sure they appreciate the support. I'm sure the fans here at the Impact Zone happy to see that Sonny Siaki is on the road to recovery. I think it's a smart call by Apollo and Lance Hoyt after what Monty Brown and Kip James recently did on Impact to Siaki. Well, they can't be worried about Sonny Siaki while they're in this match. They gotta be total 100% concentration when you're taking on the alpha male with Kip James. It's a good move. And if somehow, some way, a body runs into Siaki and he falls into a rail or onto the floor and re-injures that neck, he may never wrestle again. So it was a great move on their part. You know Siaki wants to be here to give them the moral support. But this is about taking care of business. This is about revenge for Apollo and Lance Hoyt. Don, right before this matchup started, we saw the video package detailing TNA's return to pay-per-view in the month of October. And quite simply, it is going to be the biggest pay-per-view event in the three-plus-year history of TNA. It's October the 23rd. It's bound for glory. But there's so much more than the pay-per-view event that entire weekend on dedicated to the fans of total non-stop action wrestling. Oh, this is going to be an entire weekend extravaganza. Go to TNAWrestling.com. Find out how you can be a part of it because this, this will sell out. But if you get your ticket, you get to meet your favorite TNA stars. You get to get their autographs. You get to hang out all day with them. And then, of course, our Super Bowl, our World Series, after the glory on the 23rd. You're right. The Fan Fest is October the 22nd, the Saturday. Bound for glory. Nothing to 
Lance Hoyt, but I'll tell you something, you can't get too cocky out there because they'll make a pay in a second. And I don't think your level of confidence is hurt any by the response that Lance Hoyt gets from the crowd here at the Impact Zone. You've mentioned it before, it's almost as if they've adopted him as one of their own. You know what, they saw him become a star right here in this building. He is their star. He's the guy that they saw come from the bottom all the way to the top. And that's why they get behind him if they've seen him develop and develop week after week and month after month. Now, did you see what happened here? The alpha male Monty Brown, he wants into this match. I'm not sure that Kip James, his tag team partner, agreed with it. Lance Hoyt's going to take advantage of that miscommunication and does and drop him over the clothesline. Well, I'll tell you what, that's the experience that Lance, that Lance Hoyt has developed here. He's by 6'9", 275-pound Lance Hoyt, but not able to put away the alpha male. Now Apollo in against Monty Brown. I'll tell you what I think it was good for Apollo to sit down. He, was, he really wants to take it out on these guys. The one thing he's done, Monty, Sonny Scott. Although right now it looks like Monty Brown's got the advantage on him. He didn't want to go out there too half cocked and maybe make a mistake. Let's see, that's what I'm talking about right there. Shoulder at two. 
Molly Brown made it so crystal clear earlier, almost as if he got the jump on Jeff Jarrett. We've seen Jarrett hit the ring on three shows, during pay-per-views, during impacts for several months, demanding a shot at the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. But Monty Brown this time, he was there first. It certainly upset Jarrett, but I'm not sure what Jarrett has in mind. I'm, I'm just not too comfortable with the fact that Jeff Jarrett not scheduled to wrestle tonight at Unbreakable, but yet he's in ring gear. I'll tell you what, though, you made a good point. Monty Brown saw that he was in ring gear, so Monty Brown knew that Jarrett was up to something, and he beat him to the punch. problems